As it begins to feel more like fall, guess what we're seeing? Bugs. Bugs, lots of them. Neil Denton from UT Extension here to talk a little bit about the bugs we're seeing. Let's start with those aphids because we did a story mm -hmm. earlier this week mm -hmm. that you've mentioned it, Neil, in the mornings. It's a little bit like snow flurries, but they're bugs. Yeah, they're bugs. They're the woolly hackberry aphid, and their, their population varies year to year. But it seems if we have a cool, wet summer like we had, we get a bigger population of them. And in the late summer and the fall, they grow these little wing-like structures. It's more like fuzz, and it just blows them in the wind. And uh, we see them, and they're, they're harmless, but they're a little disturbing when you see all that white floating around in the air. Well, one that I just recently saw near my house, a stink bug. Mm -hmm. Yes. And don't be the one to, to smash the stink mm -hmm. bug because it does just that. Or so even it, flick it. Exactly. Yeah, you're going to yeah. smell if you, it. If you have a stink bug on the wall in your house, get a, a plastic cup, put mm -hmm. a little soapy water in it, set it underneath it, and just gently knock him off into that soapy water. Uh, that way it doesn't leave a residue because you're right, even if you disturb them, they will put out that scent and it can stain walls, it can stain a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And do not vacuum them up in the vacuum bag that you're going to use for your household because they will smell that bag up, particularly if it's a canister vac, one with a reusable bag. You're going to have that smell for months after you get a few in there. It, it really stinks up the vacuums. How about spiders, um, given the weather that we've seen, this hot well, it was really cool and then warm, and, and now we're drifting back into fall temperatures. Does that change things, Neil? Spiders are always more often seen in the late summer and fall. That's when they come out. They're getting hungry. There's lots of them because the younger hatchlings have already hatched and reached a maturity for the year. And more insects, more food, more spiders. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see lots of spiders this year, and spiders are so... Um, quick to build webs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If the webs are not bothering you though, you shouldn't bother them because they are going to catch tons of stink bugs, tons of ladybugs, tons of all those critters that try Speaking to move in there. <laughs> they're right. and, and they're really, really important and good for pest control. Mm -hmm. But if you do start seeing them in your house, one of the simplest solutions is to get the glue traps mm -hmm. that fold up into a box, particularly if you have dogs or cats so they don't get into them, and put them around the baseboards in the basement, in the garage, anywhere you start to see spider webs, because they'll travel along the edge of a room, mm -hmm. and, the, and if you catch a bug in there, they'll go to that bug as a meal and it'll catch them. Mm -hmm. Now one insect that I really like a lot the ladybug. Yes. Are we going to be seeing some of those or a oh, lot yes. of those? Yes, and we that that population has moderated somewhat to what when they first got here the Asian multicolored ladybug came in here and it was just awful. Everybody was having tons of them and people some people still have tremendous amounts of them coming in their homes. We'll see them. Generally they're a little bit lighter. You'll begin to see a few show up on the west side of your house. Generally, after the weather cools and stays cool, they'll start looking for that place. If you can control them when they first get there, when you see the first few spray or have someone come and spray, or even just wash the side of the house off with soapy water to get rid of them, you seem to have less because they do leave something that attracts others. Neil Denton, UT Extension, thanks for the bug forecast. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well,